Hey, it's pretty here, don't you think? Is it so important you've got to tell me about it? I'm just saying, most people here don't even notice how pretty it is. But carry on, we got stuff to do, haven't we? Wait a second. Who asked you to follow me? Don't worry. I'll act as lookout for you. I'll bring up the rear. And what if I don't want that? You won't regret it. I promise you that. You'll see. We'll all be rich soon. Don't you have something else to do? I've devoted myself to my great plan. That's all I'm bothered about. You can thank your lucky stars that you met me. I can get along with anyone. You'll see. Which temple are you talking about? The natives have a temple in the Forbidden Valley. It's just over there. Rumour has it that the person who enters first will be showered in riches. I suppose you believe everything you hear. Believe me, this is from a reliable source. You'll be grateful to me for this valuable information. Let's go to the temple and you'll see. How do we get into the Forbidden Valley? Well, that's the problem. We have to go through the Great Gate in the southwest of the island. The freaking native guarding it will only allow people to pass if he deems them worthy. You should do what he says, otherwise we'll never get in. Takapo, Ucho. You do not belong here. The Forbidden Valley is taboo. Only few are allowed to walk this holy ground. He's pulling quite a face. Let's hope he's not cursing us. What's all this about a forbidden valley? It is the seat of our oracle, Gucho. The oracle must never be disturbed. The bad in this world pollutes her, changes her, affects her. We must keep her safe. Tell me more about the forbidden valley. Jungle is dense. Dangers are many. Our wisest Kiki has gone to the valley to see the oracle. She returned when time is right. Go to village to find out more about the Kila. From here, it is south. I have some provisions here for you. Sheku, a good job brings me something to eat. That is the job of Muleke. I'll help your Maleke distribute the food. Tawonga, Gucho. Baraka sees your good heart. It is good you take this task. Help our women. Hey, take this small kipawa. I want to go to the Forbidden Valley. Only one with ancient knowledge may enter hallowed ground. Or you will feel the Oracle's rage. Do you have ancient knowledge? Not yet. Return when you are ready.
Did I ever actually tell you how I became a pirate? I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a shit. Now then, don't be negative. See, I never thought about being one. I knew nothing about the sea. Boats, swords, women, fighting, rum, nothing. It don't matter. You'll soon see I have different qualities. What was I about to say? Nothing. Just keep going. Yeah, OK. We can talk about it again later. Ono bambule, Gucho! Get stuck! I to make a hat out of your skin! Your spirit is free. I'm going to Down make with a it. hat out of your skin! <laughs> I'm going to Down crush a few skulls now! Bloody spiders! Do you know why those pirates kicked me out? No, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Well, you know, I was popular at first, because I'm a decent sort of guy. I almost busted a gut working for them pirates. And what do those nasty bastards do? They boot me out, just because I accidentally used the wrong bed. I mean, I was alone, of course. You used the wrong bed, right. Is that all? Believe me, I didn't do anything else, honest. Come on now. Well, okay. But I wasn't done yet.
Come on, need some for me. <laughs> Well, that's that. Stay with me. Out here. Come on, then. You showed him. A large panther heart. That was one strong animal. This heart will be useful with the natives. You're a sailor, right? Yeah, that's right. I thought so. Right when I saw you. The way you look, you know. I don't know much about seafaring, but I have a good feeling about you. So, I'd like to sail under your flag. When do we cast off? You should probably stay here and guard the island. Um, well, okay. But you'll be sorry if you set sail and don't come back for me. I'd never do that. Okay. Then let's carry on here before someone else plunders our temple. This is the stone tablet of Farah, the Gatherer, no, Seer, yes, Seer, says something about the eye of a clam, ah, I see, clams, the shimmering pearl is the gift of Farah, the eye of the Seer, I should go down to the beach and see if I can find a clam with a shimmering pearl. It was over far too soon. I'll wait here for you.
Natives live here, by the way. They call themselves the Keeler. <laughs> Same as this island. Isn't that funny? Hilarious. I wouldn't have noticed if you hadn't said anything. I was just saying. You have to really watch those little guys. Before you know it, you'll have a spear up your ass. Just shut the fuck up and let me do it, okay? I just wanted you to know. Sending me into that jungle was despicable. What? Those pirates. They just chased me away. The ghoul. The jungle is dangerous. I could have died. Yeah, you could have. But you didn't. Oh. At least someone feels sorry for me. No, I don't. Having good friends is important, isn't it? Enough talk. We have a temple to plunder. You are Gucho from far away Campa? Ville Edges? Ni attack stories. Far away Campa. You know stories. Why would you like to hear stories? Ni a muleke from this Campas. Gucho called village. Not seen world. Bahati wants story of far Campas. All right. Let me tell you something. About pirates. Chi, pirates. Strange guchos. Pirates do nothing all day but drink and lie on the beach. Bahati thinks pirates nice guchos. Bahati no one trouble with pirates. It's probably better that way. Have strange voodoo. About other countries. Campas in other countries? There are many camps, uh, campas, on all kinds of islands. Bahati wants to see other countries. And are there campas in other countries? Lots of them. Bahati only knows own country, own campa. About dangerous monsters. Bahati knows about monsters. Lots of spiders on Kila. This kabuki make work hard. Tell me something. About the spiders. Jungle dangerous. Kabuki. Enemies everywhere. Miyashika. Only gather where is safe. But now nothing safe. Spiders everywhere. Gucho better take care. About your life. Each killer has own work. Muleke, one like me. Gather berries and plants. Atonka protects Kila from kabukis or enemies. Atufa hunts with Shihoko, the spear. Animals to eat and a gucho ask stupid questions. About Kila. Kila proud. Kila worship Gaiga. Kila strong. But Bahati is asking you are guchos on the beach dangerous? As long as they have rum, they'll stay friendly. Near to Sheka, Bahati hopes you're right. War not good for Kila. Gaia is bountiful. Guchos and Kila can live together in peace. If you say so. Let's trade. Chi, Tawulele. What's this here? Inakos. I see. I think it means the living spirit. A warrior. Stronger than anything material, he passes through humans and other creatures. His symbol is made of jade. He too is afraid of the spiders of the forest. Hmm. Or does it say enemy of the spiders? No matter. I think Inako's gifts were the spider leg and the jade symbol. Here, it's written on the stone. A huge chunk of jade is located in the northeast. 
and especially persistent spiders can be found to the southeast of Kila. There, you should find an extremely sturdy spider leg. Uh-huh. That makes perfect sense. I'll wait here for you. Let's get going then. Where are we headed anyway? I don't know yet, but you'll find out soon enough. I just wanted to be sure. You never know what's lurking in the jungle. Did I ever tell you about being chased by a duck? No, you didn't, and I am not interested. Well, you don't have to get all Auntie Mary on me. I'm just making sure we're safe. Fine, do that. But keep your mouth shut. I need to concentrate. Well, why didn't you just say so? I'll be as silent as a corpse.
Give me some Stand money. with him. Come on, then. That could have turned not Ow! I've injured myself. Well, why do you have to stand in the way all the time? But it hurts. You're not a fighter, are you? I'd look for another profession if I were you. No, it's okay. I'll be fine. You'll see. We'll soon be dividing the juicy spoils. The guard in front of the big gate won't let me in. Well, if it was that easy, I'd already be on the far side of the Forbidden Valley. Just think of something. But the good news is, however long it takes, I'll stand by you. Lucky me. Just make a hat out of your skin! Fine, won't ya? Yeah. Not a thing. Better squished. This is exactly what Harry was talking about. Let him have it.
stuck I'm in. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin. In my dreams, I've often been a spider myself. The rats and frogs I ate were a real delicacy. It might be nicer to dream of a woman. Yes, I've been a woman too. A sturdy spider's leg. It could make a good handle. I'm right here when you need me. Right. I'll pack a punch too, when necessary. I can show you if you like. Leave it, I said. You'll just get yourself hurt. All right. Maybe later. I'm going to crush a few skulls! That beast is never going to get up again! Down with get it! Get over here, you creepy crawly! <laughs> I get it. 
Use my weapon! That could have turned nasty if it hadn't been for me. Work of spiders. <laughs> Come on, Ned. Let him have it. What a waste of prime sacrificial meat! Hey, I hope you're not all the booze is idiots. What did you say? No offense, mate. I just can't stand that bastard. He's a twat. Everyone around here lives to do his bidding, but not me. No one tells me what to do. What's put you in such a bad mood? Well, you bet there's a reason. 
when we were back on Takarigua, I guarded the pirate camp. And what have I got to guard here? A pile of sand. So what? Everyone thinks the long sea voyage made me go soft. I've got to start earning some respect again. Is there a princess here that needs saving us something? How exactly did you think this was going to go? Watch your gob, you gobby twat, or my fish might just slip. Why care what other people think of you? I have to. I worked really hard to get where I am. Most people who start off as water carriers end up dying as water carriers. But I've been done being a water carrier for a while now. If you want more respect, I have a solution. We'll have a fight. If you win, the lads will know you still got it in you. And if you lose... Which isn't going to happen. I only said, if you lose. Yeah, yeah, just shut your gob for a moment. Hang on. I've just had an idea. Let's hear it then. Ah. I have your attention. You're gonna love this idea. You let me beat the living daylights out of you, and as compensation, I'll buy silverware off you at a premium price. I'll gain the lad's respect, and you can make lots of gold. Oh, I'll think about it. What do you want with silverware? Gold is much more valuable and practical. Well, what do you think would happen if word got out that I had gold? Right, I'd never get another wink of sleep, and I'd have the natives breathing down my neck too. But silverware is much less obvious, and it reaps in almost as much profit. I see. Tell me about your journey here. Bah! What's to the tell? The pirate lair on Takarigi was burnt to the ground. I'm not sure who set the fire, but nothing was untouched. All the rum probably didn't help. And then what happened? Well, we grabbed what we could and legged it. We could thank our lucky stars that Steelbeard's daughter's ship was in port. So, we put distance between us and the island. After all, we didn't want to end up as charcoal. So what happened? Well, we got crazy on the voyage. Booze started in mutiny and we followed him like dumb fucking sheep. We thought he knew what he was doing. When we weighed anchor on Kilo, we split up into two groups. And that's the gist of it. Enough! Stop! I don't want to know anymore. Good. Are you a good fighter? At least I know how to defend myself. Just ask me if there's anything you want to know. Maybe there's something else I can teach you. Tell me, are you sure we're in the right place here? Why don't you just shut the fuck up? All right, all right. I'm just saying, I get the feeling we could be much more efficient. I'll just make a few suggestions. No, you won't. Really? If I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. Understood? Uh, that's a clear message. I could take that on board. So, uh, just carry on for a while, shall we? <laughs> <laughs>